Okay. Uh, if you have a requirement in another subject and you think it can be connected or integrated with advertising practice for, you can do that assignment and have it credited also in advertising practice for. Okay? Because most of the time, you will be dealing with concepts in whatever subject in whatever subject and if you feel that it is directly or even indirectly if you feel it can be connected to our task to learn advertising practice for inform me about it because I can give credit for that also because I believe in uh, integrating our work no, we are just really doing one work it's, it so happens that our work in advertising is a major subject. But what about your science, your general subjects, or what, what other subjects do you have? Science, for example, if you can connect a requirement from your science subject to advertising practice for, then I can give credit for that. In the same manner, if somebody or if a professor is requiring you to do something, if it is possible that you can connect it with advertising practice for, then uh, better, better. I can also give credit for that. So be active, be very proactive in letting me know what you are doing in your other subjects. Because I am very much interested in interdisciplinary learning. What you are learning in your extracurricular activities even. Tell me about it. Tell me as much as possible. And the blog is our way of one way of our doing it. Okay? Maybe you have a church activity at, in your residence. Okay? Tell me about it. Because more or less, I can always find some advertising practice for it there. <laughs> okay. So, like for example, uh, in my case, I'd like you to, I probably will uh, email or maybe, uh, because this is a real project, I, I am the uh, copywriter for that. I'm the copywriter, or, act, or uh, a consultant, actually. The main proponent has already laid out the ad. It's a brochure. He has written, in fact, the copy, but he wants me to see it. He wants me to see it, and he wants me to give a comment. He wants me to, to improve on it. So what I wish to do is involve you in that project, indirectly by letting you see it and then comment but not publicly because this is an actual uh, project okay. but I want you to see it I want you to do your best to improve on it suggest how to improve on it even visual but he has tasked me for the copy the copy okay. so that's one maybe I will uh, email that to you individually so you, we can email privately. Okay? And then it should be confidential because that is an actual uh, project. So that's one. Uh, whenever we have a class, let us already imagine that this is already an advertising agency. Okay? We can always imagine that this is an advertising agency. Some of you are copywriters. Some of you are artistic directors. Some of you are creative directors. And maybe also we can add a fourth person. Although not officially part of the advertising creative team, but this very important nonetheless is the client. Okay? We should be able to think in terms of the client. After all, he is whom we wish to serve. Okay? in our work as advertisers, we always have a client. 
somebody who will pay the bills <laughs> somebody who will hire us <coughs> because for all we know you are also the client okay, you are also the client in fact you can treat me as a client okay? and I also treat you as a client right I treat you as my client you, you can also treat me as your client. We can throw ideas every now and then. Like for example, I really wish to, to see, I really wish to see an ad or something or a visual, something related to science. Like for example, did I mention you, the boy under the mango tree? Did I tell you about that? Okay. Because in science, if I ask you now, if I show you a boy sitting under a mango tree, what are you reminded of? Huh? A, bo a boy? Huh? Yes? Huh? Province? Yes, province. Sino yung boy? Juan? Anel? Juan Tamad? Di ba? Naisip natin si Juan Tamad. Naisip natin si Juan Tamad. But if I show you another boy on my right, this time he is uh, Caucasian, and he is sitting under an apple tree. Huh? Whom are you reminded of? Who? Chris? Aristotle? Aristotle? Who? Who? Charles Darwin? Huh? Again? Newton! And what is he doing? Gravity. He is thinking about gravity. Si Isaac Newton. Diba? Si Isaac Newton thinking about the laws of gravity. Now, why is there a discrepancy? What? We have the same boy, both sitting under a tree with a fruit. But how come our boy is seen as Tamad, and this one on my right, the American boy, the Caucasian boy, is seen as somebody thinking about the laws of gravity? Okay? Is it possible, is it possible that Juan is not really tamad? That he is, in fact, thinking about gravity also? Kaya lang, as Filipinos, sometimes we tend to, to look at the negative side. Like for example, I, I've conversed with several people and always they will say, Ah, ang Pilipino, magaling yan sa pagnanakaw. Ah, ang Pilipino, ganyan, ganyan. Puro negative. But maybe it's about time to do something about Filipinos thinking positively about fellow Filipinos. And what is the possibility that we can come up with an image, a very strong image of Juan Tamad really not seen as Juan Tamad, but somebody who is probably thinking about gravity or something else. Because thinking sometimes you have to sit down not just sometimes, but most of the time you have to sit down. Like for example, there is a husband and wife always quarreling because the husband is a writer and the husband is always staring at the wall because he is a writer. And then the husband said, don't you know that when I stare at the wall, 
I am hard at work. Okay? Because this is what the writer uses. Uh, yung mind niya. And when we conceptualize things, there is what we call pre-conceptualization. We don't immediately really conceptualize something. There is a pre-conceptualization. There is a time needed when the concept needs to grow like a baby. It needs to, to solidify in your mind. So there is a time to really sit down under the mango tree and stare at the wall or stare at the wall. Because that's the time when, have you felt you don't wish to do much but you just simply like to sit somewhere? And that those are times when concepts are really being born. So the need for us to take care of those concepts, those ideas, yan yung mahal, yan yung pinamayahan sa, sa advertising. Okay? yung originality ng ideas ninyo. Okay. And effectivity also. Not just the originality, but the effectivity. Okay. Yan ang babayaran ng mahal. That's what you are going to be paid for. And that's something unique to each and every one of you. Yung style ko mag-isip, iba ang style mo mag-isip. Diba? We are all different, even in our fingerprints, right? No fingerprints the same, no voice the same, no voice the same. Can you imagine the uniqueness of these physical things? So how much more the intellectual things? So the more you are aware of your conceptualization process in your mind, better. The more you take care of your ideas, better. Have you found yourself simply being flooded with ideas? Have you experienced that? And not enough time to put it down. <laughs> Sometimes the, rate, the thoughts come faster than you can write. So ito, uh, in your notebooks, remember in your notebooks? Not just in your notebooks, no? it can be a digital file by the way. You can start doing free writing. What is free writing? Free writing is simply writing automatically, even without thinking. Okay, just trying, or even sketching. Okay. And if you can type with your eyes closed, don't worry about the spelling. Just let your hands do the pounding. If you are using the keyboard. Don't worry about the spelling. Another tool is your voice recorders. Your voice recorders come in handy because you can record thoughts immediately. If you cannot write fast, then maybe you can speak faster. So let your tape recorder or your voice recorder record the idea. So all of these digital records can be included in your notebook, a digital notebook, uh, your scrapbook or something. You can include all of this. You can include all of this. Okay. You have digital arts, right? Okay, so all of these actually you can include. You can include. 
in some in a, in a portfolio of some sort in your scrapbook. Because in your scrapbook, what I will see is like a garden. Okay, because when we talk of portfolio, normally we see the finished products, right? When you show your portfolio. But in the notebook or the scrapbook that I wish to see, I, I wish to see even the unfinished product. Even the germ, even just the first thought of that idea. Because I believe that that idea may not be accomplished within this semester but may be accomplished five years from now and ten years from now. We do not know. But because you have recorded it now, I'm giving it credit for this semester. Now, if at the end of ten years, we see each other again, and you still keep this record, then wouldn't it be nice to know that in our class, we talked about that once. We talked about that idea once. So the idea is the most important thing in this class, in the idea. What is the idea? I give premium to your ideas and the development of that idea. And that notebook somehow will help me uh, see the behind the scenes, <laughs> behind the idea, behind the idea. Okay. What else? Uh, okay, so I will email that the notebook. Okay, by this time. I also would like to see a show of hands, more or less show of hands, huh? who are geared towards copywriting. Can I see? Who are among you somehow feel like you are a copywriter? Raise your hand. Bella? Huh? <coughs> copywriting? Script writing, things like that. For TV, it would be script writing. For print, it would be copy. This one? Copywriter. Yeah. Uh, kung migawa na? Uh, for copywriting. Pag mga symbols, symbols na, uh, maybe uh, ano na yan, that's uh, art art direction na. let's say in our example here FYI for your information diba? FYI dengue and then about dengue the copywriter's work here is to say okay we will write FYI dengue sulat yan but then the art director will be the one to decide which font to use, how large is the font, which color. The, cup, the, the layout artist decided that it's best if we do this brochure in, in this size, in this orientation, like a leg, leg, twi leg, uh, leg twice. Okay. Because in every ad, there would be two components, the visual and the textual. The copywriter's role is what is going to be read. Or if it is a TV production, TV commercial, what's going to be seen or rather heard? Okay, so show of hands again, is there a group here that somehow is engaged or already inclined towards the writing side? One, two, 
one. We have one, two, three. Okay. Okay, given the statistics in this class, then I will require more. Of the right thing. <laughs> okay. I will uh, push you a little bit more towards the right hand side. Okay. Because the visual side is coming more easily to you. So I will push you a little bit more on the visual side. Okay. Now I am encouraging you to do that because. I am encouraging you to the creative direction. Actually, I wish that more of you would become creative directors in the future. Somebody who can link the two. Somebody who can think in terms of words and visuals. Okay. So what else? Uh, okay. Client. Let's talk about the client. Do we have a business person in this class? What is your business? <laughs> so, Piggery. Yeah, Piggery. In your, uh, where is your Piggery? Marikina. How many heads? Depends. So you. Some uh, uh, headless. <laughs> for, for meat. So you are uh, uh, raising the pigs and. Uh, ah, okay. So you are in the meat processing already. Meat processing now. You buy the pigs, you uh, uh, package it already. You divide. Okay. So you don't raise the pigs. Okay, that's good. That's good. What's the name of your company? Meat supplier. You're a meat supplier. It's in Marikina. Where in Marikina? Centro, Sabayan. Sabayan. You have a slaughterhouse there. Slaughterhouse, Miss Mumbaya. Okay. Okay. Who else? Who else? What's your what's your business? What's your business? Ah, okay, you mentioned that you an online shop. It's an online shop. And uh, what is the shop? Huh? Pink. What is it involved in? What business? In the blogs, lead us more to that. Huh? In the blogs, lead us to your your business. Huh? Same with uh, you, Do you have a website in your? Do you have a website? Uh, okay. Okay. And what is your involvement in that business? How how much are you involved in the business? So much. <laughs> you are you are the boss. Of the business, no? Your parents. So when you say so much, what do you mean by that? You're looking for? Uh -huh. You are looking for somebody? Are you are looking forward to work in the business to manage it? Good, that's good. No? Yes. Uh, Your work actually is uh, in advertising, you can use that, plus you can include that also in the science blog, <laughs> since meat is related to somehow sciences. Who else? What? Yes, what's your business? Hotel and restaurant. Hotel and restaurant. Amenities. When you say amenities, uh, the, the uh, packaging, dedicated to hotel and restaurants. 
hotels. And right now, what are you supplying? Uh, what hotels are you supplying? Okay, find out about your parents are managing. Okay. Get involved, uh, be involved in the business. Be involved in the business, see how you can work with them as uh, uh, advertising students. Who else? Yes? That's So garments, design, you are designing for a garment. But the, but the company producing the garments is your business. Ah, okay. Okay. <coughs> Sige, tell us more about it, huh? Yes? Part yet. that you will make, you can go ahead and advertise the business. Okay, you can advertise the business in the blog. Now, if you do not have a business yourself, if you do not have a business yourself, you can go look at your favorite shops. Okay? Look at your favorite shops and then you can make an ad for them. If you can charge them, it's okay. If you don't wish to charge them, just for practice, you can make an ad for them. Okay? Uh, like uh, me, for example, I'm about to post uh, uh, something for uh, books for less because I am a I'm a sucker for uh, book sales. <laughs> I I chanced upon uh, book for less at Ali Mall, and then I found. 10 pesos bargain books, pocket books. So I probably bought uh, uh, 300 pesos of those. And then I had a photo taken by their by their uh, uh, sign. And then I simply quoted what they are quoting already. Uh, something about uh, Something about books. Huh? I'll post that also. But if you have a business, see you are also you are a client, so you can be a client to yourself. You can post about your business in the blogs. If you don't have a business, you can have practice by choosing your favorite shop and travel and advertise that in the blog. You can you can blog about it. Okay. What else? Okay, and then the Juan Tamad. Nah, don't forget the Juan Tamad. Everybody was photographed with their... With their okay. Any questions for today that we have to... Yes? Mag? So Facebook? Yes. <laughs> Tagamaris ka nga. Oh, sa WordPress. Sa WordPress. But, Facebook is also okay. No? Facebook, we can be friends in Facebook. I see no problem in us becoming friends in Facebook. So, if we can also connect 
You can share those on Facebook, it's also okay. Any more questions for this morning? Okay, there being none, I say we have uh, accomplished what we have done for today, what we have supposed to do for today. Now, join me in a short prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Father, for this morning, for this morning's class. Uh, I have with me a record of their desires to learn, specific desires. I have a record of what they are willing to, to do in order for them to learn. Please grant me the special grace that I'll be able to respond to each and everyone's desires. Increase my willingness to teach, to share what I know, and I would like to pray a special prayer that uh, most of the students in this class are into visual thinking. I would like to pray a special grace for them that they may be able also to think in the languages, the verbal thinking. Because after all, you said that in the beginning was the word. So may you continue your word with us. After all, the letters are also visuals. Help us to conceptualize, to capture ideas as they come. We know that these ideas are gifts from you. May we capture all these gifts as much as we can and may we make them grow through the years. Some we can grow in a day, some we can grow in a week, some we may grow within a semester. But some we may need a lifetime to grow these ideas. Grant us the strength, the wisdom, the effort, the skill to develop all these ideas because all of these ideas come from you. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As we forgive those who sin against us, do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Lord, I like to pray also for the parents of my students. I like to thank that they have enrolled their children at the University of Santo Tomas College of Fine Arts. Keep them well, keep them strong, and keep them ever closer to you also. Make their bonds with their children stronger every day. May they guide their children through college and through life as long as they live. To Mother Mary, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and our permanent Saint Joseph, Saint Ignatius de Loyola, Saint Francis of Assisi, Saint Thomas Aquinas, Saint Dominic, 
in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.